My chin and the top of your head got cut out, she said one night in the living room, referring to the photograph. But it looks good that way. Yeah, wouldn't want anyone to see your double chin, he remarked. Lance laughed from behind the desk where he was drawing a palm tree because he missed Florida bad. Damn, you're an asshole, she cried out. I know it, Will replied. I'm waiting for you to come over here and give me a real good beating. I need to get beat down. Lance shook his head and went back to his palm tree. He hadn't been in Florida for over a year, and the girl he opened his heart to there made sure to call him on his promise to return. She had severed ties with her boyfriend of many years. Not for him for herself, but he would not know how unhappy she was in the months that followed the separation when she went out most nights and got wasted and called him long distance from a cell phone in the Waffle House at three in the morning. There was love there, but his longing was for Florida altogether and her in part. She was one of many intricate and colorful shells, like the one she placed between the sun visor and roof in his car just before he headed north, struts under the weight of all his books and drums and clothes.